The halogens, also known as group 17, are all negatively charged and non-metallic elements. These elements are also very unique and different to all of the other groups, because they are the only group to contain all three states of matter, which are solid, liquid and gas, as shown in the image. Also, when they are in their elemental form, they all become diatomic molecules. These elements are very dangerous due to all elements being electronegative, making all elements very radioactive. In fact, group 17 is the most radioactive group. Halogens are known to form both ionic and covalent bonds, as demonstrated in the two images. Fluorine and chlorine are known to be the only ones of which to form both ionic and covalent bonds with other elements. In fact, fluorine and chlorine both form a covalent bond together. The isotine and bromine only form ionic bonds, with the elements of both sodium and magnesium. The halogens provide multiple periodic trends within their group. The first one is the increase in temperature for both the boiling and melting points, as represented in the table on the right. As the elements go down the group, the boiling and melting points increase. Ionization energy is a periodic trend, where it decreases as it goes down the group. This is clearly shown in the table on the left hand side. This is because when the outer valence electrons are not near the nucleus, the energy doesn't need much effort to remove them. Electron infinity is another periodic trend, as it decreases when it goes down the group. This trend appears because the atomic size increases, meaning that the electron infinity usually decreases. This is represented with the above table. Electron negativity is a periodic trend, where it decreases down the group, as illustrated in the lower table. The reason the numbers of valence electrons increase is because of the increase in energy levels at gradually lower levels. Finally, reactivity of elements is a periodic trend where it decreases as it goes down the group. This is clearly shown in the large image on the right. This trend arises because of the atomic radius increasing in size with an increase of electronic energy levels. The reason the halogens are placed where they are on the periodic table is because they all contain seven valence electrons. They are also different to the other non-metallic groups due to the fact that they are a subset of the non-metals. Group 17 starts from fluorine all the way through to unobseptium, as shown in the image on the left. All these elements are very chemically reactive and are represented as compounds rather than as pure elements in the environment. Though within the group, the reason fluorine is placed first within the group is because it is the smallest atom out of all the halogen elements. Fluorine is also the most reactive and electronegative element in the group with unobseptium being the least reactive and electronegative element within group 17, as illustrated in the picture on the right. All of the halogen's elements have the same electron sequence. As you can see in my diagram, the last electron shell ends with seven electrons. These electrons are also known as valence electrons. These seven valence electrons cause group 17 to be highly reactive. The atomic structure affects the properties of the elements highly in group 17. Due to the fact that group 17 has 7 valence electrons, as shown in my drawing, makes them very close to a full set of 8 valence electrons, therefore making them very reactive. In fact, they are more reactive than any other non-metal element. Though within their own group, fluorine is much more stronger due to having less electrons. You see, if an element has fewer electrons, that means the element is smaller in size. The more electrons, the bigger the element is, as shown in my picture. This therefore means that the electrons are further away from the nucleus, making the element less attractive to electrons. Therefore, unobseptium is the weakest within group 17 when attracting electrons from other elements. The halogens and noble gases have numerous differences and similarities, though these two groups have further differences than similarities. For one, the halogens are reactive, they are diatomic and contain all three types of matter. Though the noble gases are only gases and are not reactive too much at all, as illustrated in my picture on the left. Another difference is that noble gases are very stable due to being a full octet. Though the halogens are not quite stable, as they are in need for one more electron to have a full octet. This is clearly shown in the two images on the right. Noble gases is also a group that we can live without. Though the halogens group is not a group we can live without, due to the halogens make multiple goods, such as asthma inhalers, soft drinks, and even pesticides. The image on the left is a picture of bromine, which is used to make all these goods. 
Now for similarities. The similarities between the noble gases and halogens are that they both don't have allotropes, but every other element does. The last similarity they have is that they have little importance to organisms besides humans. In fact, they are very deadly to plants and animals. Within group 17, the atomic rate increases as you go down the group, as shown in the graph. In the atomic rate table, it illustrates how fluorine has an atomic radius of 0 0.42, and acetone has an atomic radius of 1.27. The reason the atomic radius increases is because the amount of protons and neutrons increase, resulting with the energy levels increasing, therefore creating a larger orbital, making the atomic radius larger.